Hey guys, it's Elizabeth of ERWplans.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install tabs in your passion planner. If you're using a dated planner, such as the Serpent Spring hardcover that I'm using here, uh, you'll notice as you go through the months that there are these little gray spaces here. Uh, and that's where you basically want to put your tabs. Um, in this case, I've used the rainbow tabs from Passion Planner, and there's a link in the description that you can click on to go there, use Elizabeth 10 to get 10% off your Passion Planner or your tabs. Um, I'll show you real quick how you would use these tabs on the gray spots. This is the regular standard tab, not the flush mount. You're just gonna go ahead, lift up your page to so make sure you're only tabbing down one page line up the line between where the color break is and the white and make sure you're completely covering the gray like so. Lift up the page, fold under the tab, and now you've tabbed out your month. Very easy. However, maybe you're using an undated planner or maybe you're like me and you want to tab out all of your back pages because that's absolutely a thing that I do. Uh, there's a couple ways you can do this. If you're using Chelsea's tabs, they come with a handy tab guide right here. That means that when I'm going to tab, if I'm using Chelsea's tabs, I can flip the page over. So if this is gonna be page one and two, in this case, my level 10 life goals, I would flip the page over, line it up, the top of this form with the top of your page, Clip it in. Then grab your tab that you're using. Uh, in this case, I'm using some extra leftover tabs uh, from Passion Planner. Once again, just like we did before, you're gonna line up the color ed of the edge of the tab with the edge of the paper. If you need to slide a piece of paper underneath so that you can see where the actual edge of it is, you can do that. I'm just gonna slide it under the guide here. So everything's lined up and I'm a perfectionist so I'm gonna to try to make it perfect. And then you just fold it over and voila. If you're just using Passion Planner tabs and you don't have an old set of Chelsea's tabs, you can go to passionplanner.com and you can download this uh, tab guide that they have put out. The tab guide will help you with um, lining up your tabs. As you can see, um, it lines them up if you have a large, a medium, or a small. Uh, one thing to note is that if you're following these guides, uh, there's gonna be a gap on the large, the medium's gonna fit perfectly, and there's gonna be an overlap on the small. Because the tabs are one size fits all, so they really only work on the medium. Now, what you would do with the Passion Planner page is very similar to what you're doing with Chelsea's. You're gonna line up the top with that top line here. You can see that. That should, as you can see, it lines up just like Chelsea's does. And then you can go ahead and add in your next tab. And if you want, you can even cut or fold this down so we can use our clip just like we did before to clip the edge to there. Okay. I'll just check it against Chelsea's. Yep, that lines up perfect. Make sure you only have one sheet there. Line it up. Edge of the paper to the color edge here. Remove the page underneath and fold your tab down. And that would be how you would tab your passion planner to set it up for the new year. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please make sure to leave a comment, leave a like, and of course subscribe. Uh, we have new mini videos every week and we have new full length videos every week on Wednesdays at 7 a.m. Mountain Time. Once again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.